Well, boys and girls, just like I promised you I would, I turned this ship around. We are just outside of the Champions League qualification spots. It's the January transfer window, and we've got £200 million to spend because Chelsea. See what we can, uh, see what we can do, eh? Uh, right, so if, as I was saying, if you weren't in yesterday's stream, and you should have been, and you haven't watched Lujo 2, and you should have done, things did get a little bit iffy briefly. Um, it's not even immediately obvious where they got iffy. I guess around this little run here, where we drew to Wolves, drew to Fulham, beat Everton, but then lost to Newcastle and West Ham before beating Brighton and losing to Man City. I think it was that little run, October, November time, where if we look at the league table, yeah, we kind of ducked down to the bottom half of the table and Todd got a little got a little worried. Um, he then made me promise not to play Ansu Fati, <laughs> which I've only got, it's only three more days, three more games, three more days of me not being allowed to play one of my favourite players. Um... So we'll be able to play him again soon. But we did recover. We've turned things around. We've kind of settled on a tactic that involves a libero. Liberos are an FM24. We love a libero. Expect to see a libero in the Brighton save soon because I'm having a lot of fun with liberos. Um, and it is now the 29th of December. So what that means is it's very nearly January. And despite a spending 742... To be fair, I only spent about 650 million of that. And I did sell nearly 500 million pounds for players. So despite spending a huge amount in January, we have got an enormous, in July, sorry, we have got an enormous amount to spend in January, including over a million pounds of free wage budget. By the time we've never, never this up, we could spend 200 million this January without selling anybody. Now we probably will sell people as well. I think if anyone comes in, others have got to come out, but bottom line, there's going to be spending. We're going to try not to completely ruin team cohesion because that's what caused us problems earlier in the season, but there probably are going to be some signings. But first, let's go beat Wolves. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I think I've decided inverting doesn't work for me because I'm an idiot and don't know how to do it. Let's see if we can get him. Then that at least we can then get rid of Dan Byrne because that was obviously done as a joke. Don't tell him he'll get upset, but it was obviously a joke. So Ramos is quicker, technically better, but Vlavic is better in the air and more physical. There's very little between the two of them. Ramos can play there as well, but we don't use that role, so it doesn't really matter. Vlaovic is a high reputation player who's available potentially for cheaper. They're talking about the release clause here. High reputation players are always good to bring in because of the boost to all that kind of stuff. They're basically the same age. I mean, they're both very good. Am I doing a 4 2 3 1? Oh, I am doing a 4 2 3 1. Oh, now that does change things. That makes me lean back towards Ramos. Let's go for Ramos. The board are delighted to inform you that following the promise you made to them, they're now satisfied that you've done your utmost to keep it. Whilst they appreciate it's difficult to be told whom to play and whom not to, it is. They were pleased that you've taken on board the wishes of the club. As a result of the improvements you've made as manager, the board have cancelled any plans to relieve you of your role at the club. Were there plans to relieve me of my role at the club, Todd? I wasn't made aware of these plans going forward the board hope you won't have won't give them reason to regret their decision so we can play Ansu Fati again basically good I mean if we get Ramos I'm not against selling Mason Mount to Manchester United for 81 million pounds I could probably get on board with that we're linked with Alex Scott oh now now then because it's your world mode. Good work, media rumour. We'll have a piece of that. How are they... Silly Bristol City. We're offering them £20 million. Just take it. Take the money. 
and we low we can't low I mean let's just he's probably not going to come in because he's 17 and I think he has to wait until he's 18 which is weird because this kid's 16 and he's going to sign for us but I guess it's because he's not coming from abroad let's get Andre Santos to convince him no it didn't work brilliant um, are we just not even going to get a highlight against Wolves? Here we go. A highlight. Lovely. Shoot! Romelu! Give me six four stars for potential than a five star. Yeah, absolutely. Got loads of players with five star potential. Liberos might be toned down a little bit before the full release is out. I can't... I'd be surprised if FM24 is the year where Libero is overpowered all year. I would be very surprised. I suspect it's going to get toned down a little bit. But, yeah, nobody tracks their runs at the moment. So with everyone doing it to us, we may as well do it to them. And it's odd, because the inverted wingbacks don't get left alone with the same amount of space. It's just the liberos. Come on, Mason. That's so rubbish. That is so rubbish for Mason Mount. £80 million. If Manchester United want him, they can have him. That was awful. Um, how did Lukaku... I looked at the chat for a minute and Lukaku's through on goal. I'm not sure how it happened. <laughs> but he scored. Yay. Baby steps. They've got Libero working this year. Maybe we won't sell Lukaku. That is not 81 million. I mean, it does add up to 85. Oh, my word. 70... Right, so I want... 60 million up front, please. We're going to sell Mason Mount for 106 million pounds. Rooney Barger. I know that name. I've had him before. Was he at Spurs in non-league to legend last year? But yeah, we'll take an 18-year-old wonder kid, definitely. Uh, um, installments. That works for me. There we go. Have we sold anyone this window? I don't think we have. We haven't sold Mount yet. Now we've sold Mount. 69 million release clause. Believe it or not, we can just go and do that. So let's go and get Jeremy Pino. Ivan Tony, now. Now, 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 now. His ban is up in two weeks. We don't need him, do we? Right, this is the moment for Nkunku to show me that he's my boy. If we're going to play him. I think we probably need to bring Enzo back in to play there. And then maybe we play Ward Prowse there. Quick Pick doesn't like it, but I think Agati probably gets sacrificed and that becomes our midfield three now. But you can actually see their eyebrows from this view. If the match engine looked like that, would you all be happy graphically? That's why Ward Prowse stays in the team. Having come through text only and then 2D and then various versions of the 3D, I like the fact that Football Manager is a platform for telling stories. I don't want that to be taken away from me because the game spells everything out for me. I'm no more interested in managing in the J-League than I am managing in Australia or Canada or Gibraltar or any of these places where I'm just not interested because I know nothing about them. If I'm going to manage somewhere like that, I may as well just turn real players off. He's off him and done. Not done, done, but he's going to have to work his way back in. He's been an absolute flop. And Ramos is here now. There you go. Welcome along, Ramos. Oh, welcome along, Pino as well. So that's my attack and wing positions strengthened. Who the hell is this guy? Oh, he's that kid. Okay, he can come in as well then. There we go. Alex Scott is in and has gone straight back to Bristol City for the season. Lukaku's happy we've signed a left back. So that's nice. 
There you go. Another 18 year old wonder kid in. We're just wonder kid shopping at this point. Would Hawter only be 25 million? I know I've already turned my nose up at him. I didn't realise he'd be that cheap, though. Oh, well, in that case, fair enough. More the merrier. This guy's already three stars of current ability, apparently. Interesting. Um... I mean, he's he's much better defensively than Unkunku. I mean, who do I compare him to? Enzo, maybe. I guess that's who he's competing with. So he's faster, better in the air, more physical than Enzo. Got the same defending and mentals. Not quite as good attacking as Enzo. I think we probably need to buy him, don't we? Forgot to mention I got my money back from CD Keys. Congratulations. Oh, oh, Unkunku's in. Unkunku's in. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. What an upgrade on Mason Mount that man is. I mean, run around all you like. Young man, oh my word. Who was saying before they wanted goalkeepers to come out and join the back four, back three, back four? Costa looking like... Looking like Raya with how much he's worrying me there. And Jeremy Pino on debut makes it 2-0 to Chelsea. This is, We're actually getting good. It's took us a while to figure out a tactic. But this works. The inverted fullbacks, the libero, the two DMs. It's finally starting to click. Tadebo is unhappy. His promise hasn't been met. I want you to leave, though. So who cares? You obviously haven't got what it takes to be at this club. If you're looking for a way out instead of hard... Yeah, get lost. It's totally out of order. I'm more than good enough to... No, you're not. You're done. I am deliberately trying... I want you to leave the football club. I'm not deliberately trying to sabotage anything. Just go. My client's finding plenty of interest. All of the clubs I spoke to need to raise funds. Well... That's unfortunate. Newcastle need to raise funds. Is that the same Newcastle who've got all of the money in the universe? Unai Emery left the manager role to manage Tottenham. Fair enough. Why wouldn't he? No reason for him not to go there. Why were Tottenham hiring? Because they sacked Ange after 169 days. Quite right too. Right, Madueki's got out on loan. Neves is in. Goodness me. What have we got here? The best central midfielder at the club, apparently. Chelsea board. Reduce available transfer funds. What? They've hacked my budgets apart. Well, there goes the spending, I guess. They've taken all my transfer budget away and slashed my wage budget down. Well, I guess the fun times are over. I don't know why. Seems a little harsh, if you ask me. There you go. Todibo, who was a grumpy boy, can go and hang out in Nice and might come back a better player. Who knows? I know the young kid. This is like um, beta, beta, schedule, schedule, all over again. All these youngsters who are influenced by American media and say stuff wrong. They've started adding the and in England as well. It is macaroni cheese. It's not macaroni and cheese. It is macaroni cheese. And uh, I'm not a massive fan of pasta in general. Um, when you say spaghetti, I assume you mean spaghetti bolognese. Maybe. Um, probably spaghetti. But I'm, I'm not a massive fan of either of them. Well, I think that's another very productive window. So to summarise our January transfers, we signed Gonzalo Ramos, Jeremy Pino, some guy called Borland off Aston Villa, Amar Dedic, Alex Scott, who's immediately gone back on loan to Bristol City, Rooney Bargi and Zhao Neves. And we sold, actually sold, of course, Mason Mount to Manchester United for over 100 million. And he's the only sale. The rest of them were loans. So Mason Mount funded all of that, basically. 
Back in. We've still got the second highest wage spend in the league. And Harry Kane did go to Al Hilal. £1.9 million a week he's earning. Wow. He knows one goal of the month for his only goal he's ever scored in England. I thought typing cake in chat was a new it's part of slang I didn't understand. Then I saw the question about Jaffa cakes. I thought I explained Ossiman's in form and you were like, cake! Okay, you really... I guess that means you're happy about it. I don't know. I just assume if I don't understand something, it's young person talk that I don't know about. So from now on, whenever we're happy about something, we're just going to say cake. It's not any weirder than every football Twitter nerd now talking about cooking all the time. Who started that? And how do we get them sent to prison? So yeah, we say cake now. Every time we're happy with something... Just write cake. What do you type in? There you go. See, some of you get it. Cake. Exactly. Oh, Victor. Victor. Cake. How long until we have a cake emote? Someone get Dan on the phone. We need a cake emote for tomorrow. So if cake is good, what's bad? Broccoli, I guess. If you had, if, if you put a gun to my head and... It made me tell you what the opposite of cake is. I think I'd say broccoli. Broccoli's good. I quite like broccoli, especially a drop of tender stem. But I think it probably is the opposite of cake. And remember, there doesn't have to be any logic to this youth speak. The more nonsensical, the better. Gravy is the opposite of cake. It's gross. You must be American. If you think gravy is horrible, you must have only had horrible American gravy. There's no way a British person would say gravy is awful. What about jam in a fridge? Shut up, Topher. Topher's fired. What a moron. What a stupid thing to say. Jam in the fridge. It's literally a preserve. It's one of the few things you definitely don't need to put in the fridge because the entire purpose of it is to preserve the fruit. You know my thoughts on this, boys and girls. We've talked about it many times. It just comes down to where you find them in the supermarket. If they're in the fridge in the supermarket, keep them in the fridge at home. If they're not in the fridge in the supermarket, don't put them in the fridge at home. And if you're American and you think that means eggs should be in the fridge, just get safe eggs that don't need to go in the fridge. I'm fed up of all of our fridges having a place to put eggs in just because Americans can't do their eggs properly. Right, let's do some football. You've upset me now, all of you. Oh, look at that. That's a lovely cross. Oh, Todd's furious. Ansu Fati did a football. I would like to point out, if Todd is watching, that the moment my promise expired, Fatty started every single game. I'm proving a point. Oh, well. We are good now. Tea with milk before or after. I don't really drink tea and I just don't care. It took us a long time to get. I, I hope every save is a bit like this. I would like to think the days of going into a club and immediately turning everything around are gone and you do actually have to put a little bit of work in. We've tried so many different tactics. We've tried so many different players. We've finally stumbled across a combination of tactics and players that works. But it's taken us half a season. And obviously with a normal club, it would take longer. It's only taken us half a season because we're Chelsea and we're able to spend a billion pounds to do it. At a normal club, this is like four years worth of transfers. <laughs> oh, and Kunku's quite good as well, isn't he? We're up to third in the league, boys and girls. Surely Todd's happy with me now. Yeah, see? How about the supporters? Have they come round to me? Of course they have. They're disappointed that we haven't signed high reputation players. Chelsea fans are idiots. I've spent a billion pounds. One billion pounds. And they're disappointed that I haven't signed high reputation players. We have signed Victor Ossiman. <laughs> Amongst others. 
Look at that. So these aren't high rep. What? Without really needing to do many more transfers. This team is pretty much ready to go and win the league next year. I've decided. Liverpool lost again. We could win the league this year. Can you imagine? We are still in the FA Cup. Yes. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Ba -da -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Come on, gentlemen. Do a football. There he is, look. Good old Victor Ossiman. Put your hand down and defend, you moron. Goodness me. Running along with one arm in the air. You'd have, if you'd have used both your arms, you'd have been a little bit faster and he might not have been half a yard ahead of you to score the goal. Let the linesman judge if there's an offside. Believe it or not, the linesman doesn't need your help. Why is your arm in the air? What is wrong with footballers? A network game, if you thought about including a fairly unknown person and if they grow their network, you can take credit. New Zealand and Burma. Uh No. Because that kind of defeats the it defeats the purpose a little bit, doesn't it? It needs to be someone who fits in with us, who we know well, who we get that rapport with immediately it, we can't be bringing in someone we don't really know it needs to be someone who's already a very good streamer can handle that amount of eyes on them can handle being on zealand's stream and getting the abuse from two thousand people yeah and as claptraps has said it also needs to be someone who could handle the three of us in network game mode it has to be someone that we know could cope and give it back in equal measure and not get upset So we have to know them well enough to know that they could cope with us, cope with Zealand's chat. Has to be a special kind of person. Or Jack. Here we go. Here's the winner. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Um, what I'm trying to do is look at form. There you go. We are the form team. Us and City, both in incredible form. Liverpool, after their start, have lost two of their last five games. Are Liverpool actually going to bottle this somehow? Man City should be top on XG. Look at how much Liverpool have outperformed their XG. So basically, Mo Salah is top of the league. Hello, Endrick. Yes, we're going to keep trying. Maybe he'll be a little bit more tempted now we're looking good for the Champions League. Oh! Hendrik! Do we loan him back? When would that be until? When is the end of their season? So he'll join us in the summer. And then he'll stay on loan there until Christmas. Is that how their, so, how, is that how their season works? Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. They can keep him till the end of the season. And then he'll turn up in January as an 18 and a half year old. Oh... Oh, oh, Hendrik. Now the beta has begun. The Hendrik experience is coming back to Twitch, boys and girls. Are you ready? None of you are ready. 